knowledge, the word knowledge in Sanskrit implies hidden connections. For the Indians, in the Vedas and the Upanishads and, and in the Tantras, the, the real knowledge, I mean, first of all, everything is interconnected. And this was their, their, their daily experience. And real knowledge was the knowledge of those connections and the awareness to be able to participate in those connections in ways that transform themselves and their life experience. So what we're doing here is that there's a few layers to it. The first layer is that we are beginning to make contact with the deepest part of ourselves. Because we're not this body and we're not this mind, thankfully. If that's all you can relate to about yourself, there's a, a four-letter word for that. It's, well, actually, it's six letters. But so we're we're beginning to relate to a deeper part of ourself, and in relating to that deeper part of ourself and awakening more completely our essential nature, we become in control of our mind even as we come to understand the nature of mind itself. That's one layer. In developing this understanding and experiencing our essential energetic nature, we are becoming healed from many generations of accumulated pathology. <clears throat> Rudy used to say, the earth is the Bellevue of the solar system. There is nobody here who isn't completely crazy. And it's not a bad thing to be completely crazy. It's a bad thing to stay completely crazy. Because, and it's, you know, this isn't a, a moral wrong. It is an absurdity. Because we have within ourselves a dimension that is pure and complete abundance, it is total well-being. And here we are training ourselves to connect to that dimension of abundance and well-being and to begin to live from that experience of abundance and well-being that is within us, to live in that experience every day in our ordinary life. And we can do that by, instead of getting all locked up in the tensions which we have accumulated, which we walked in here with and were gifted by our parents, and then you know, going further into our lives, we build this up till it becomes a complete crystallization. And when we can open our hearts and open our minds and, and move in the world with the awareness of our own creative energy, we create for ourselves choices from which we can express this abundance and wellness, not only for our own benefit, but for the benefit of all living beings. Because this is total, there's a total interconnectedness. 
we are make here here we are making the effort to reprogram the neural pathways to be to awaken ourselves to our own energetic mechanism and the pathways by which this creative energy our own essence can fully and completely express itself in the field of our experience since we've been spending many 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 lifetimes accumulating and cultivating something else something other than that then this takes a little bit of effort to to change ourselves that there is no effort that we can make in this lifetime or in any lifetime that is more beneficial to us and more beneficial to the people whom we love and share our life with and more beneficial to the whole of humanity any good action any pure action comes from a pure place and that pure place is the unconditional love that is at the core of each of us and living from that unconditional love which is wellness and abundance is it's work actually we have so many other habits here there is unconditional love for you to open yourself to and connect with and participate in making that effort will bring tremendous growth in you tremendous peace in your mind and sweetness in your heart and well-being in the whole field of your life namaste everyone very nice to be with you